What it be like, like, you already know what it is, you pull a cap light my way. Hey, I just wanted to make this quick video, um, really, just to bring forth a tad bit of clarity, um, and really just to speak, probably how most of the folks that, uh, follow the word of God, like myself, how they feel, um, not speaking for everybody, not speaking for anybody but myself in actuality, but just putting it out there in the atmosphere. Uh, many times people look at uh, believers, Christians, uh, whatever you want to call folks, right? Uh, whatever label you want to tag me with. Uh, and they, they, they feel that uh, we feel like we, we have to... Uh, the world, or that we are um, better than other folks, right? And quite frankly, it's not true. Um, truth be told, um, God brings correction, right? Um, God, God brings judgment. Now, for us, we are to proclaim the word of God. In other words, we are to speak what God says, what the Bible says, what the scripture says, um, as far as casting someone to hell, or, um, we have no power to do so, but what we do bring forth judgment is unto the body of Christ, to those that believe as we do, if a person is outside of the body, if people do not believe in the Messiah, if they do not believe in the scriptures, then, quite frankly, you are on your own devices. So, just like people say that they don't care about uh, Scripture, if they don't care about God, if they don't care about, uh, uh, let's say, religious organizations or what have you, or even just a spiritual conversation, then, quite frankly, you are to be on your own devices. In other words, you're on your own. Um, the problem comes in is when uh, those same people that say Christians or believers, people of the book, are um, judgmental. They, 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 they bring forth harsh judgment. They're, 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 they're bad people, etc., etc. Don't judge me, so forth. These are the exact same people that go forth and judge everybody. Uh, they tell people that they, they are on awake. They tell people that they, they are blind. They tell people that they are fools. And they tell people that, you know, oh, none of that's real or whatever. And they bring forth a judgment upon a people. Uh, when they henceforth t say to themselves that they, they don't do that. Uh, Quite frankly, it's very hypocritical and it's idiotic. Um, if you don't stand for a thing, don't stand for a thing. The funny thing to me is the same, you know, many, many folks that uh, claim to be uh, spiritually awakened um, and, and are not deceived are quite frankly deceived as hell. Um, due to the simple fact you have someone that says, hey, I don't believe in uh, God. I don't believe in Christmas. So I, I'm not Christmas, but Christian. Christianity, the book, none of it. I don't believe in none of that. But these are the same exact idiots that uh, uh, do the whole uh, holiday. Every holiday that's, that's made up, right? Uh, that has some type of uh, religious theme to it. And dress the kids up that uh paint some daggone eggs that uh you know they do everything um and the truth be told it, the majority of, of people that, that even say that they're christian people that say that they're awake people that say that they're conscious all these different sets and groups all of them are jacked up every single one of these groups are are, are, are foolish every single one of them are deceived on some level and all of them probably actually have some truth in each one of them. 
But the thing is, a piece of truth has a piece of lie with it. Uh, that's why, you know, myself, not speaking for anyone else, but myself, I feel it's important for individuals to have personal relationships with the Most High. Okay? Uh, with God. Uh, for, for people to actually open up the book, right? And read it and bring forth interpretation clarity into what's being said now there's many folks that will sit up here and uh, bash uh, scripture but I ain't never read the whole book you got you got people that uh, are getting conversations of, about being deep or spiritual right but they haven't studied nothing they do the exact same thing that a lot of or so, so called Christians or believers or people of the book whatever uh, whatever religious flavor you are, um, they go off what other people say. Um, if um, pastor said it, then you know people in these little religious sects, they say, pastor said, pastor said, you know, bishop, whoever, reverend, whoever. That's my that's my um, uh, 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 my reference, you know, from them, from this person. Um, and then you have uh, people that are awakened or conscious or what have you. They say, uh, you know, uh, uh, Umar said it. You know, uh, you know, like like they 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 cite a person. You know, um, polite said it, or you know, whoever. And the truth be told is that's still someone else's opinion it's someone else's uh interpretation of what had uh, of the information which in turn is their truth right um and truth be told it is okay to have reference reference points from a person but your actual revelation must come from god or whatever your higher power or whatever you call it is must come from that and then you get your own uh, awakening or revelation or what have you versus someone else's manipulation of the words. Because this is what you got to understand is with uh, me, myself, I studied public speaking, uh, started uh, in, on a business facet, uh, read many books, put things into practice. Uh, you have things like persuasive communication. You have things like uh, um, argumentative um, action or ways that you can manipulate people with your conversation. So in other words, you can ask certain questions and make people follow you. You, you, can, you can use certain tones in your voice to make people feel comfortable. You can use certain manner, mannerisms to influence people to, to, to connect. You know what I mean? You can use way because see this this is what a lot of um, a lot of speakers do. We talking pastors, we talking uh, rabbis, we talking uh, Farrakhan, public speakers, conscious community, everybody, right? This is what they do. They tap into your pain. See, when people must uh, tap into your pain, right, to to uh, uh, make a point. In other words, what they did, they hit your soft spot, right? It's kind of like um, in, in boxing or in UFC, whenever a fighter hits another fight, hit a fighter in a certain spot, and they see him wobble. Once they got you wobbling, they can take you wherever they want you. They can put you on the ground. They can, they can do whatever they want to you because they hit you in your soft spot. They hit you, they hit you in your pain. You know, and, and when someone does that, then it becomes a, a question of if they tapped into, if they tapped into your pain, is this truth or is this manipulation? Um, now, I'm not saying that uh, persuasive communication doesn't have a place, but there are many different tactics out there. Truth is truth. Truth can stand on its own. Uh, there's a great quote uh, from Jim Rome. At least that's where I heard it the first time. He said, uh, I think actually he quoted it from, um, 
Uh, the name was just in my head. With, with, with Winston Churchill, I do believe. But he said, the truth is incontrovertible. Uh, malice may attack and ignorance may deride it. But in the end, there it is. That's true. That's a great quote. Too. Um, but um, that's the thing about true. Uh, malice may attack it. People are going to attack truth. And ignor ignorance may deride it. Ignorance is going to push against it. But in the end, there it is. You can't argue truth. And that's one thing I refuse to do is argue about where I stand or to argue about uh, what I believe or what I know to be true. Because there's something uh, bigger than faith. Uh, in a sense that it's when your faith becomes knowing. You understand what I'm saying? Um, with life experience, with going through uh, learning God. Uh, but this video is not about um, pushing uh, my belief or, or what I feel about uh, spirituality on anyone. It is only to derive truth. And that truth is through reading, is through research. And it's not going, see, this is one thing too. Okay. Um, if you were a racist, right, um, you could find every racist book from a racist author that said exactly what you believe. Everyone, right? Um, and then from that, from that, you could come up with your opinion and say that every single one of these line up and that's my truth. But see, with real research, with real research, you will go from sources that have absolutely nothing to do with your viewpoint. It goes against it completely and see and, and, and me you know, uh, measure information versus information if you really want truth but if you're only looking in this stockpile and you uh, uh, neglect this stockpile how much truth are you really looking for um you know that's that's neither here nor there but in the end there it is see truth knowledge <laughs> is whenever you look at these small piles and you chase knowledge that brings forth ignorance because you neglect all facets of understanding um that's it for today stay encouraged stay positive stay productive you know y'all love you so do I and if you don't believe in God that's fine too because um, it is what it is one thing we can, we can all be assured of, when we die, we'll find out what the hell's up. So, till then, deuces.